All right, so we got interrupted last time because we were, the video I made was too long, so I had to cut it down just the way the software works. So we have 150 total. We're going to try to find the median examination mark here first. So 150 we're going to take. We're going to take 150, add 1, and divide by 2. So we need the 75.5 or 75.5, I guess, uh, mark. So we're going to go to 75.5, and that's about here. We're going to go over, and we're going to go down. And it looks like the answer is about 60. If you want to on your graph, sometimes it's easier to actually draw over so you go 75 and a half and then you go down like that it just might help you you don't have to do that if you don't want to then the next question says how many students scored less than 65 so we're going to go to 65 which is right there and again this might help you it might not but if you go up to 65 and then over we're looking at about 100 students it's 80 90 100 it's off maybe by one or two, you could say 98, and nobody would be mad at you. Number, uh, or letter C says, how many students score between 50 and 70? This one's a little different because you can actually look at it right here. Here's 50, there's 35, and here's 70, and there's 111. And we know that directly from our table, so we don't have to look at the graph. And if we do 111 minus 15, sorry, minus 35, it's 76. So that's our answer for that one. Part D says, how many students failed given that the pass mark was a 45? So we go to 45 as a mark. So we're going to go again here. There's 45 up to the graph and over. And it looks like about 20. So we say 20 people failed. And then finally, it says the credit mark given the top 16% of students were awarded credit. So what we have to do is figure out, okay, what's the top 16%? And we do that by taking 150 and multiplying it by 0.16. And then once I have that number, I have to say, okay, my graph doesn't give me greater than numbers. It gives me less than numbers. So I take 150 minus 24 and get 126, and I go to 126. So there's 120, there's 130. So 126 is sort of here-ish, and we go down, and we get our number. All right, so our, our pass mark is just a little under 80. That's 75, that's 80, so I said 77. And that's how you work with a cumulative frequency graph. So we'll just let you work on some of those on your own, but that's the concept of cumulative frequency.